What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to deal with math and chemistry questions, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. In this video I have this trigonometric equation which is for which is 6 sine square theta plus cosine theta minus 5 equals to 0. And we need to solve it for theta between 0 and 2 pi. So here I have sine square theta, here I have cosine theta. I need to convert sine square theta to cosine. How can I do that? We know sine squared plus cosine squared equals to one always. So I will write, instead of sine square theta, I will write one minus cosine squared theta plus cosine theta minus five equals to zero. Then I distribute it six times one, six minus six cosine squared theta plus cosine theta minus 5 equals to 0. 6 minus 5 is going to be positive 1. So I have negative 6 cosine squared theta plus cosine theta plus 1 equals to 0. Now I have negative 6 cosine theta cosine squared theta plus cosine theta plus 1. I need to use AC method to solve this quadratic equation. Negative 6 times positive 1 is going to be negative 6. And here I have positive 1. I'm looking for two numbers multiply to negative 6 and add to positive 1. So I think it's going to be 3 and negative 2. When you multiply them, it's going to be negative 6. And when you add them, it's going to be positive 1. So I rearrange this quadratic equation. I have negative 6 cosine squared theta plus 3 cosine theta minus 2 cosine theta plus 1 equals to 0. Then I need to factor it by grouping. Here I factor 3 cosine theta which make it negative 2 cosine theta plus 1. And here I have negative 2 cosine theta plus 1 equals to 0. So then I factor negative 2 cosine theta plus 1. And here this one becomes 3 cosine theta plus 1 equals to 0. So when you solve it, you have negative 2 cosine theta plus 1 equals to 0. And here I have 3 cosine theta plus 1 equals to 0. Therefore here I have 1 over 2, cosine theta equals to 1 over 2. And here I have cosine theta equals to negative 1 over 3. And now I need to solve it for these two cases. So we will have two answers for the first one and two answers for the second one. Cosine theta equals to 1 over 2. We know cosine of pi over 3 will be equal to 1 over 2. And the other one will be in quadrant 4 which cosine is positive as well. So one of them in quadrant 1 is pi over 3, the other one is going to be 2 pi minus pi over 3, which will be 6 pi over 3 minus pi over 3, which will be 5 pi over 3. Why? Because we needed to do the common denominator. So one answer is pi over 3, the other answer is 5 pi over 3. If you convert it to degrees, here we have 60 degrees, and here, this one is 360 minus 60. It's going to be 300 degrees. So these are the two answers for the first case. The second case is cosine theta equals to negative 1 over 3. So I need to use the calculator. Negative 1 over 3, cosine inverse. So theta will be cosine inverse of negative 1 over 3. That make it... 109.5 almost degrees which is going to be on the second quadrant because based on the cast rule we know second and third quadrant cosine is negative so one of them is 109.5 and the other one will be i need to find out this part first 180 minus 109.5 will be 70.5 so the other answer must be 180 plus 
so which is 250.5 so these are the two answers for the second case in terms of degrees I need to change it to radian 2 in case 109.5 times 3.14 divided by 180 is 1.91 radian and the other one is 250.5 times 3.14 divided by 180 that's going to be 1.37 radian so these are the two answers for the second case so let's review it again cosine theta equals to negative 1 over 3 theta will be inverse of cosine negative 1 over 3 I just put it in the calculator I got 109.5 degrees which is the one in quadrant 2 and how we find the quadrant 3 it's going to be 180 plus this part I needed to find out this part which is going to be 180 minus 109.5 which is 70.5 this part is 70.5 so this angle will be 180 plus 70.5 which will be 250.5 degrees and when I convert these two to radian I get 1.91 and 1.37 that's actually 4.37 4.37 radian 1.91 and 4.37 so these are the two answers and the other two answers four answers to this question I hope you enjoyed this video. I will leave related playlists in the description part. If you need extra help and extra practical questions, you can take a look to the description side. If you found this video useful, please like it and share it with your friend. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching and have a great day.